If space isn't fake, why does it look so fake? Whether it's fake images, fake videos, or astronauts faking floating about. Fake, 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 fake. Oh, you've cracked the cord. You have single-handedly disproven the work of NASA, the ESA, and JAXA, or and every other space agency worldwide. I bet you also think that the Earth is flat and the moon landings were... Well, you know. Fight, 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 fight! Wow, Neil Armstrong! Hey, wait a minute. You're supposed to be on the moon. You see, calling it fake because it doesn't look like your everyday experience is like saying a microwave is fake because you don't see an open flame. You're judging a highly specialised, technologically advanced endeavour based on what? Your gut feeling? It's fake because it looks fake isn't proving or disproving anything, is it? That's just your opinion. Shut up and sit down, you big ball f Please subscribe. So here's what I'm proposing to NASA or any other space agency from around the world. If space isn't fake, take us with you on a reality TV style documentary. Yeah, this is what his videos look like. It's almost as if he doesn't want the people who know him to recognize him. And I can't imagine why. We kind of have been doing that, just not in the way you're imagining. There are countless documentaries, live streams, and educational videos from space. Astronauts regularly share their experiences and answer questions from the public. And none of you believe any of what's already out there, so why would you suddenly start to believe it now? If by some miracle NASA or any of the other space agencies were to agree to do it. Call it Meet the Astronauts. I don't know, the title's not important right now. What is important is the concept. Even if it's a really stupid concept, a concept that has already been done many, many times, just have a look at this URL. And you can't say they're fake because they're from NASA, because you're asking asking NASA to do it. Well, they already have, pal. Multiple times. I want to see an unprecedented, behind the scenes, fly on the wall documentary series of a year in the life of a group of astronauts. Unprecedented, yeah. Practical, no, not a chance. Think year long, incredibly expensive, logistically impossible, and potentially life threatening home movie. Astronauts train for years and it's not to be reality TV stars. We've already got tons of footage from space. It's just, you know, actual science and exploration, not staged reality TV. You've all seen the sports documentaries All or Nothing, yeah? Where we get to see how footballers are behind the scenes, in the changing room, how they eat in the club cafeteria, how they behave moments before a big match. I want to see the exact same thing, but with astronauts. You want to see what astronauts eat? Why? I'm on my lunch break, okay? But it's freeze-dried everything, and how do they train? Well, that's years of simulations and grueling physical tests. And how they behave? Well, I would imagine they behaved like highly trained professionals in a life-or-death environment. <laughs> Think about it, that would be blockbuster entertainment. To be honest with you, I can't believe it hasn't already been done. You're shocked that NASA hasn't prioritised the reality TV show about astronauts. Okay. And I'm sensing a slight overestimation of the public's appetite for watching people meticulously follow checklists in zero gravity. Data analysis isn't exactly action-packed, is it? If space were real, all they'd have to do is hook up cameras both in the space station on the ground and the one floating up in the air, put cameras in all the astronauts' helmets, stick a load of cameras in the rockets, and then film for a year. Right, because adding a ton of extra equipment, even more potential points of failure, and a massive data streaming headache to a multi-billion dollar space mission is totally worth it for a reality TV show. Meet the astronauts. Are you taking a piss? If they did this and it was real, we would see things that would be impossible to fake. But we already have mountains of evidence that are impossible to fake. Decades of research, countless observations and verifiable data. You're just choosing to ignore it. The point of space missions isn't to prove they're real to skeptics, it's to gather data, conduct research, and expand our understanding of the universe. Your entertainment is as irrelevant as your lack of belief in space. And if you do happen to see this video, if space is fake,
Where are we then? And if they're not faking it, then there's no reason why they couldn't do it. Because at the moment, all we see is this. Astronauts talking to us in scenes like this. With hairspray and harnesses and wires and mess everywhere. Right, because if they're not faking a global conspiracy involving thousands of scientists and engineers, then a year-long reality show is a breeze for them. Your logic is, well, it's something. They're already sharing a significant amount of footage and data with us. You're demanding a level of access that's impractical, intrusive, very dangerous, and ultimately unnecessary to prove what's already proven. Surely if they were actually in space, things would be a little bit neater. You're talking about the wires again. That's a highly complex, constantly evolving piece of technology, not a minimalist apartment. And don't call me Shirley. Every wire has a purpose and neat doesn't always equal functional in that environment. Those messy wires are meticulously organised for accessibility and maintenance. Not interior design, it's a working lab, not a showroom. Almost as if they've gone, how can we make this scene a little bit more spaceship? Oh, I know. Do you though? Actually, it's the opposite of what you said. They didn't try to make it look like a spaceship from a movie. They prioritise function and safety. The visible wires are a sign of authenticity, not a set design choice. Wires. Wires everywhere. I mean, a basic electrician course would tell you to sort those f***ing wires out. But for some reason, in space, it's all okay. The engineers that design and maintain the ISS have a little bit more than a basic electrician's course under their belts. They're dealing with constraints and challenges you're not even considering. A basic electrician's course deals with buildings here on Earth with gravity and readily accessible wiring. The ISS is a slightly different environment, so different rules apply. And one, two, three, four. Everything they show us can be faked, and this causes people to question the authenticity. So your argument is, it looks fake to me, therefore it's fake. That's not scepticism, that's willful ignorance masquerading as critical thinking. Just because something looks unusual to you, it doesn't mean it's fake. Lack of understanding often leads to doubt, but that doesn't invalidate the science. And so an unprecedented behind the scenes fly on the wall style documentary filmed over the course of a year would make it extremely difficult to fake. It would make it difficult to fake for you, but the vast existing body of evidence already makes it extremely difficult to fake for anyone with a basic understanding of science. Your demand doesn't change reality. So until NASA creates a year long high definition show tailored to your specific demands, space remains fake. Did you watch your video back before you hit publish? You would see the real emotion of a person living in space. You would be able to feel what they were going through. You would be able to see what they see on a daily basis. And you would be able to tell whether or not it was real. Because this stuff just isn't real, ladies and gentlemen. It just isn't real. Don't then what's the point in making the request that you're making? Because you've already decided that all footage from NASA is fake. So why would this new footage you're demanding be any different? Unless you're hoping that it'll be a bit like Love Island and the female astronauts will all be running around in bikinis. I don't think that's how it'll work, pal. You think it's a little bit weird that we have shows like Big Brother, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out Of Here, and the All Or Nothing Sports Documentaries. Oh, yeah, it's deeply suspicious that NASA hasn't prioritised creating a real Astronauts of the ISS series. We do have documentaries and footage from space, just not in the exploitative, manufactured drama format of reality TV. The focus is on the science. You should try it. And yet, we have people flying back and forth to the space station floating in the darkness above and yet all we get is this and this and this netflix are you watching give nasa a bell and get it done well 
looking at your channel and basing it on the fact that you only have 15 videos and 72 subscribers, I'm gonna say no, Netflix probably aren't watching. And I will repeat myself once again, what is the point in any of this? Because you have consistently said throughout your video that you do not believe any of the footage that NASA has out there in the world now. This documentary series gives you the opportunity to silence us fake spacers for once and for all. Yeah, but for NASA to want to silence you, they'd need to know about you first, and I can't even think of an example of something that they would care less about. However, imagine they did film an unprecedented behind-the-scenes fly-on-the-wall style documentary, and they faked it. <laughs> I know, but you don't need to worry about that because you already think every piece of footage NASA has ever released is fake, so... Why break the habit of a lifetime? <laughs> I can see it now. It would be like friends in space and laughter and shit. And to be honest, as long as the actors were good, I mean really good, not like this lot, then they could potentially make it semi-believable. Ah, right, I think I can see one of your problems. They were astronauts. They're, they're not actors, they're just real people who do a really dangerous and mind-blowingly interesting job. The technology is there, I mean, look at the movies today, but the authenticity would be difficult to fake. Exactly, so how can you possibly sit there and claim that it is fake? And I think this is the reason they haven't given us full access to astronauts before, because surely if it was real, that would be the obvious thing to do. Us peasants can't afford to go to space, NASA, so do the right thing. Spend some money from your ridiculous budget. I don't know what it is, but it always really bugs me when a British person complains about how NASA spend their budget. What the hell has it got to do with anybody who doesn't live in America? And besides that, NASA's budget, if you imagine that the entire US budget for 2025 was $1, well, NASA gets half of one penny of that dollar as their annual budget. So you may want to rethink what you just said or do a bit of reading, one or the other. Oh, I am not paranoid, and I make videos about things I am paranoid about. Then in that case, your entire channel makes about as much sense as this video did. Don't forget, tune in tomorrow night at 7 p.m. UK time for episode three of the Creaky Blinder Show Live, where we will be ranking conspiracy theories on a tier list. Love you, bye. Don't you just hate it when somebody answers their own questions? I do. And just quickly before I go, over the weekend I was doing some reflecting and I've decided I want to die in my sleep like my grandfather did, not screaming and shouting like the passengers on his bus.